And so with that in mind, you know, part of the pragmatic approach is, you know, there's no goal or no objective that's too small um, because each of those simple steps is going to help build the foundation for better cybersecurity over time. Um, And so if you're sitting here listening to this presentation and thinking, um, you know, oh my gosh, we got an industrial site or a product in industrial systems and We've been so focused on safety and operations that we haven't really dug into the cybersecurity yet. We haven't seen that as a, a main issue or area of focus for us. But I'd say, hey, start with training. Figure out who the key, um, members in the organization are going to be responsible for these activities are, um, and you know, put them through either a certificate or a certification program. Have them take relevant courses um, because that's going to help them, you know, have the skills and the tools needed to really go through and, and take some of those other steps. Um, so that can be a great opportunity to, you know, build competency either as a, an individual or within your organization um, to be able to tackle these types of challenges. Um, if it's something where you've, you know, taken some steps in the past, you have some training in place, but you don't know exactly where you are as an organization um, or exactly where, you know, a system is, whether it's it's high risk or not, you know, starting with a, a gap or a benchmark assessment and a a risk assessment, that can really help to show where is the exposure, where's the risk, and, and what is really required to close those gaps. Um, and using that as a start to identify your roadmap and, and where you go from, from understanding your, your base case. Um, and then for the last one, you know, maybe you've already had three gap assessments. You know that you're weak on policies and procedures. You, you don't want another one you need to jump into it and get started. Um, well, we know that cybersecurity management and having it well defined is something that every organization is going to need. You know, it doesn't matter what you're doing; you've got to have a cybersecurity management system in place to really drive and ensure that you're following the right steps um, going through the life cycle effectively. Um, and so, sometimes some organizations like to just jump in and start working on that cybersecurity management system. Um, and certainly, that's an option whether you start updating existing procedures or you leverage Keplet. And um, that's going to be a key part of the roadmap. Um, and so regardless of, of where your organization is, um, nearly every organization can take one of those three steps or, or one of those options for a, a first goal um, and start to make progress on improving their understanding uh, or their you know readiness to address cybersecurity issues.